You've hit Beltline Construction, brought to you by Calvin College Media Production. Here's your host, Grand Rapids personal trainer, Mighty Joe. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Beltline Construction. I am Mighty Joe Stankowski, your host from GrandRapidsPersonalTrainer.com. Today we're going to talk about stretching and why it might not be the best thing you want to do if you feel like you have tight muscles. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate a few concepts. Uh, it's, it's really going to be something probably that you haven't seen yet. This isn't the stretching you learned when you're in school when you're a kid. Uh, as an easy demonstration, I'm going to grab a towel right here and show you that we've got. Imagine this is a muscle. This is our normal resting length of muscle. Um, and instead of stretching a muscle that's already in a good length, we, we could pretty much let it go, right? Now let's say you have a muscle has a, what we call a trigger point somewhere in it. It's effectively a knot in the muscle, right? Stretching this isn't going to make it better. All it's going to do is, is put more tension on the problem. It's going to put more stress on the connective tissue. So we don't really want to stretch a muscle that has all these trigger points. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have my, uh, my friend Stephanie and Travis come out, and they're going to demonstrate what we've got. And we're going to take something as simple as a tennis ball. And we're, we're going to really put some pressure on, on this knot, on these trigger points. And we're going to show you how we can make them loosen up. Uh, how are you guys feeling today? Doing good? good. Pretty good. All right. Uh, what we're going to use is a simple scale. It's a subjective scale, 1 to 10. Uh, 1 means there's no pain, no tenderness, no tightness whatsoever. 10 means, oh my, this hurts real bad. I want to kill whoever's in front of me. Uh, if we get to that 7, 8, or 9 sort of level, that's what we want to really stick to, okay? So what we're going to do is just put the ball on the floor. And again, we're barefoot right now. So you can see these guys are just, you know, working in socks. Um, and we're going to stand on the ball and just roll around a little bit. And if you find something that hits that kind of 7, 8, 9 sort of position, uh, we, we want to hold on to it. And by putting that tension on the trigger point, what it will do is it's going to play with your nervous system and send some signals back and forth in your brain uh, back to the nervous system and make everything loosen up. And this is better than stretching because it's taking care of the knot, not stretching all the tissue around it. How are you guys feeling with that? Any, any tension, tightness, soreness, or otherwise? A little bit. Okay. I'd say about five. Okay, a, a five on a ten scale. Uh, and if you have a lot of time, you, you could work on these, these, these you know, fives, you know, sixes and lower. Uh, but really what I want to do is if we can find a spot that's a little tougher, we'll go with it. So let's try switching feet. And what you might find, you might find you have no tenderness, tightness, soreness whatsoever, and that's great. No trigger points is awesome. Uh, effectively, what this is, this is like having your own massage therapist uh, meets stretching coach meets, I guess, torture uh, deliverer in your, uh, in your apartment, in your home, wherever you are, just with the cost of an old tennis ball. It doesn't, doesn't take a lot for this. Uh, a little, little more uh, intense on this side at all for you guys? Yeah, right here okay, I right found. There. Okay, and, and that's the spot we want to hang on to right there. Uh, and what, what you find with this a lot of times, too, is that this, this is going to be much like layers of an onion sometimes. It's like one, one of these trigger points might actually release, and you find there's like another knot underneath, and it could get a lot, more just, uh, a lot more uncomfortable. So we just have to take everything as intense as you can handle, but always kind of think like uh, defensive driving. You know, you always want to be looking, okay, where, where's my way out in case this gets a lot worse? Uh, so from there, we're going to take it down to the floor now. So we, we, we got feet. This is a very broad brush approach we're doing today. Uh, limited in time, got so much to do. So we're going to take it down to calves, but instead of using the ball, uh, I want to have something a little bit more visible for you on camera today. So we're going to trade the ball for a foam roll. You can find these at pretty much any sporting goods store. Now they've been around for a while, but uh, they've really become popular over the last maybe five, six years or so. So we're going to put this underneath one calf at a time in the same concept. We want to put as much pressure down onto the roll as we can because gravity pulls us down and the ground pushes back up. And I just heard a little sound here out of Travis, so I'm guessing we got a tender spot. Um, so again, we're going to keep some tension on here and just, just we don't want to roll away from it. We want to stay on this point as long as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And if you find these spots, you know, we, we just, we take it. We just let it sit there and it, 20 to 30 seconds should allow it to dissipate. And if it's not, uh, we still want to stop after about 30 seconds because we, we could assume it's not the problem we're looking for. It's just pain. It's just pain, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, we use the tennis ball, obviously, to start with. Uh, lacrosse balls are good if, you, if you're very heavily muscled. And we can switch legs if you guys are done with that one, if you start to feel anything release. Uh, lacrosse balls are good. They have some give. Uh, I would not recommend baseballs or golf balls because they're, they're very dense and don't have a lot of give to them. Uh, we don't want to walk away with bruising or any kind of like, you know, broken bones or anything like that. Uh, it really is supposed to be uncomfortable. Normally I would say no pain, no gain when we're talking about training. Uh, but this, this is one, or I should say no pain, no pain. This is one where we want a little bit of discomfort to, uh, to get the, the effect of what we're looking for. And yeah, Travis has some tight calves. You could hear it right here. Huh? <laughs> Okay, feeling good now? You guys kind of loosen up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, let me get these tennis balls out of the way, and I'll take that from you. And what we're going to do next is we're going to flip you over, and we're going to work with your quads. So we're gonna, what I'm going to do is, is have you, lie, I'll show you with, with yours, Travis, just want to lie next to it with one side, so the, the front of your thigh will be on the roll. Okay. You kind of face that way, and have you face that way so we can see what's going on. So, so when, when I have one quad, and we'll slide the thing over for you a little bit, so we only have 
one on there at a time. So give you some room to, to lie down it. And we're going to try to avoid knees. We, we, we don't want to hurt anything here again. So we're really going for the meat of the muscles that you have. And if you, can, if you have a way you could put more intensity on this, a bit more pressure, then by all means, just think heavy. You know, I like to think lead balloons. You know, really kind of let yourself sink into the roll. One thing that we have here, too, is we have two different rolls. They're both sim similar as far as how they look. They're six inches in diameter. Uh, they're three feet long. You could find these things in shorter, you know, one foot, one and a half foot lengths. Um, the idea is we have pressure coming onto here. Oh, oh there's Travis. He's loving this. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I found a spot. <laughs> okay, and, and when you find it, just, just stick with it. Uh, again, really broad brush approach. There is no right or wrong as long as you're not hurting yourself. We want to keep the, the pressure on these trigger points. And when they release, they release. And that's a great thing. Feeling good, guys? Oh, yeah. All right. And it, again, it's better than stretching. I mean, it's so much better than stretching because we're actually taking care of the problems that were making the tension there in the first place. So once you get rid of that tension, your, your muscles have the correct length to work with. And then, then stretching could be a bit more appropriate for you at that point if you still need more length in the muscles. But if you're just stretching it and muscle has trigger points, uh, it's, it's just it's the wrong approach. And if we didn't switch legs, we do that real quick. I'm going to keep an eye on time here, too, because I know we got a lot, of, a lot of muscles. We have over 600 muscles to work with. We're going to work with just a few of them today, of course. Uh, experiment with this at home. Good. So same thing with quads. If, if you guys don't feel a whole lot here, we'll move on to something else. Looking good. Yeah, Travis is tight today. I wonder if it was like squat day. I remember last time we had a, 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 a nice big bench day before doing some push-ups here. So we're, we're looking pretty good. All right. Good. Okay, so we'll take it from there, and now what I want, what, what I want to have you do is lie face down on the floor, so you're going to lie on your belly, kind of facing ahead this way, and I'm going to put the roll right next to you on your side. So put that next to you there, and then what you're going to do is basically straddle with a leg, whichever leg's close to it, so you want to turn that so it's parallel to your spine. Parallel yeah, to yeah. my spine, okay. Yep, they're going to go that way. Okay. So now we're going to work with the inner thigh, the muscle on the inner okay. thigh, the groin, the, the hip adductors we're going to work with there, and again, if we feel tension, tightness, soreness, aches or pains that is muscular, that's what we want to hang out on. And you could put as much tension pressure on this as you can. And we're going to untie knots is all that we can do. <laughs> Good. It's relaxing. It is kind of relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. It's great. It, it is relaxing. It's painful. And <laughs> me not having a uterus, never giving birth to a child, I can only assume that this is a lot like giving birth and that you have to breathe through it. You have to understand there's going to be something really good at the end of it all, but in the middle of it, it it's really kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, so good, and we can do the same thing on the other side, but just in the interest of time, uh, what I'm gonna have you guys do is flip over, we're gonna do our backs now. So at home, again, hopefully you're watching this stuff right now and, and taking notes. If you don't have some old tennis balls at home or don't have like a foam roller or something to work with, uh, find one. These things are, are fairly inexpensive, any sporting goods store, tennis balls, just you know, find any tennis courts, uh, or they, they give them away, they give the old ones away, they, they don't use them after a while. So I have you guys lie face up, putting your spine in here, so this time it's gonna be across your back. So I'll flip Travis around here a little bit. There you go, just wanna lie back that way. You know, kind of starting mid-back or so. It's not a pillow, it's a foam roll. <laughs> and we're actually going to bump heads. I'm going to have you guys spread out a little bit. <laughs> Makes for good TV, of course, but not good for taking care of your back. Good. So from there, we're just going to, going to slide a little bit back on it. And you can see here again, that they're, they're, they have to lift themselves up using their hips. So that, that's the first thing is we're actually using hips to kind of control your body. And here we got a little, little ooh out of Stephanie, so we must yeah. be hitting something. <laughs> Tender spots could be anywhere. Uh, I don't know where. We can't really predict where all that much. Just if you have them, we find them. And if we find them, we keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. This is the kind of thing we want to do daily at first. You could do it before a workout. You could do it after a workout. Uh, you might even do it in the middle of a workout, really. Uh, but the thing is, once you find these spots, you're going to find your spots that are there all the time. Um, keep hitting them. And once you find that you don't have that problem so much anymore, you could really start to just, you know, maybe do a maintenance sort of plan, maybe like every few days or every week even once you start to get rid of them. You guys feel good? Yeah. Travis is breathing. I like that. Uh, and, and this is great because Travis even moving to the next thing. What I want to do is I want to keep your hips up where they are right now, but I want to just let your back kind of sink over. So now we're also getting some thoracic extension too. Uh, and I know we're going to have to start wrapping up here any second now, so make sure you get your foam roll at home. Use tennis balls. Use something that's solid but has some, has some forgiveness. Uh, work your muscles. Find what you've got. Uh, we'll see you again next time on Beltline Construction. I'm Mighty Joe, and we will see you then. Till next time, train like you mean it. Okay, looking good, guys. Just keep rolling across it here now.